So now we will see about RC oscillators. So all the oscillators which are going to use say LC will operate at very high frequency. But for applications which are working at low frequency, they don't become uh, suitable because the size becomes very large. So when the size of inductor and capacitor becomes very large, then the fabrication will become difficult, the circuit will become bulky. In that case, it is more suitable to go for RC oscillators. So the two important RC oscillators which we have in our syllabus are RC phase shift oscillator and vein bridge oscillator. So understand the reason why we are going for RC oscillator. They are, uh, they are RC oscillators are designed to operate at low frequency where the application demands that. Okay, so we'll see about the detailed uh, DJT based RC phase shift oscillators. So as you can see the diagram, you are going to have a transistor and it's a common emitter amplifier with the voltage divided by S and in the feedback path you will have series of RC circuits. So you have C parallel to R, C parallel to R, C parallel to R and given as input to the base with the feedback path. The BJT is, uh, the, we are going to design the circuit using BJT. It can also be designed using FET. The BJT is used as an active element in the amplifier. So the output of feedback network is connected to the series of RC ladder networks and given as input to the base for further amplification. Okay, so the feedback signal is coupled through R3. So this common emitter will have a phase shift of 180. So the remaining circuit should provide a phase shift of 180. Since I'm using three RC section, each will provide a phase shift of 60. So 60, 60, 60 becomes 180. 180 plus 180 becomes 360. So the bar Carson condition is satisfied. So this circuit will oscillate at a particular frequency, F0, which is decided by this R and C. Okay. The resistance R of the feedback network is parallel with the input uh, impedance HIE, so which will reduce the effective value of R in the last section. So in the last section, you see here in the two sections, we have CR, CR. In the last section, I'm going to have R3, and this R3 will have HIE in parallel to that. So this uh, last section alone, the resistance value will decrease. And R3 is going to be the feedback resistor for our circuit. So in order to make all the sections identical, we'll assume like this, R3 equal to we consider R to be sum of these two things. R is equal to R3 plus HIE. Or R3 equal to R minus HIE. This R3 will be series with HIE. So this HIE will come at the output side as well as the input side. When you split the circuit, this HIE will come in series with R3 in the output side. It will come in shunt at the input side. So I'm going to use the H-parameter model of a transistor for analysis. The input side, I'll have only HIE. Output side, I have HFE, IB. Then you have the collector resistance, RC. Then you have a series of CR, CR, C, R3, RI. For simplicity, see here, I have C, R, C, R. So I take this resistance in series to be equal to R. So R3 plus HIE equal to R. Or if you want specifically to find what is R3, R3 equal to R minus HIE. HIE, R, it can be RI. RI is going to be the input impedance of your common emitter amplifier and phase shift condition we have seen. So each RC is designed to provide a phase shift of 60 degrees at the desired frequency of oscillation. As I told you already, two RC is enough because each RC provides a phase shift of 90 degrees ideally. But ideal case and practical case are going to be vary. So ideally it is 90 but practically it will provide around 60. So ideal case, if you have two RC section, practical case, you should have three RC section to fulfill the phase shift of 180 degrees. So I am using a higher, small signal hybrid parameter model for the amplifier to analyze the circuit and to derive the frequency of oscillation. So first to see here in the output side, I have four loops, one, two, three, four. So I want to reduce it to one. So I do source transformation technique. I convert this current source into voltage source. 